Once a lavish royal palace, home to the French monarchy, including Catherine de' Medici, the Louvre was perhaps the most impressive art gallery in the world at the time of the 1889 World's Exposition. Historically renowned for its size and presentation, the Louvre was designed to boast the power of the French monarch. King Francis I first began major renovations on the Louvre in 1546, nearly two decades after he had declared Paris to be the capital of the monarchy. It is said that the Louvre got its name from the French word l'oeuvre, meaning building, in the late Middle Ages, perhaps a reflection on the fact that the building was constantly under renovation during the entire time that it was in existence, which, given the fact that it was from the Middle Ages, was quite a while. It was Francis who demolished the old edifice and replaced it with a newer, Renaissance-style palazzo, the structure we know today. Catherine de' Medici implemented her own changes on the structure, as did Henry IV, who together built two major wings of the palace with an adjoining section in the middle. Napoleon Bonaparte also ordered renovations to make the building look more official in 1806. By the mid to late 19th century, it was Louis Napoleon's turn to make some changes to the Louvre. As part of his plans for urban modernization, Louis installed a courtyard and opened the area between the Louvre and the Tuileries Gardens, a rectangular park that stretched beyond the building to the public. When Napoleon Bonaparte rose to power, he had amassed a rather large and impressive art collection and decided to place it in the Louvre, thereby starting the building's tradition of having one of the best art collections in the world. During the late 19th century, many aspiring artists visited the Louvre's halls to paint masterpieces that hung there, including Claude Monet, Camille Pizarro, and Paul Cezanne, some of the Impressionist masters whose own work was well on its way to revolutionizing modern art. The museum boasts a vast array of masterpieces, including Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, Michelangelo's Slaves, and, Rub and the Rubens Room, which depicts the reign of Catherine de' Medici in a series of spectacular paintings.